art of glass blowing. This series features Brandon DeLay, one of Colorado's local artists. As the project begins, Brandon starts out with a clear slug that he heats up to around 1500 degrees so it's soft enough to open up on the end. He is constantly spinning the rod so that the tube stays in a cylinder shape. When the hole opens up, he hits it with the flame again so he can stretch it out even wider for preparation of adding the color. After he gets the perfect bell shape, he then starts with his color rod. Infinite. It is at this time that he decides what the inside of his pipe will look like. After Brandon gets all the rod work done, it's time to add the color changing properties. This is done by holding a small piece of silver or gold in front of the flame. The fumes from it get into the pipe, adding a yellow, pink, or blue color depending on what he has used. Here he is using silver. We are infinite. Infinite. The next step in the process is for Brandon to start closing the outside of the bell-shaped slug and start forming the mouthpiece. He then attaches another Pyrex or Boro rod to the end. He does this so he can remove one rod and start working on the actual shape of the pipe. He then blows in the pipe so it expands. He attaches another rod to start hardening the pipe to give it that quote-unquote unbreakable feel that his pipes are known for.
From here, Brandon breaks off the rod that would be the head of the bowl and flattens it out so there are no hard edges. Then he will heat one end to its melting point so he can push into the bowl. Once he pushes into the bowl, he takes a sharp tool and pokes a hole in it. After that, he pushes the bottom side of the pipe on a hard surface to keep the pipe from rolling, so he can stamp his famous B signature onto it. Then he starts to work on the carb hole. Brandon then puts the pipe into the kiln at 20 minutes per inch, which allows it to cool very slowly, so no cracks or stress fractures form. This is also known as annealing. We hope you enjoyed part one in our new series, The Art of Glass Blowing. Stay tuned for part two.